but do you see my face? Hello, my lovelies. Today I'm coming at you guys because I got new makeup and we're about to do a full face with pretty much all new makeup. This is always scary for me because, you know, I always tend to do my makeup when I'm actually going to wear because other than that, I really don't wear makeup. Thank me later. Let's get into it. For anyone new to my channel, I'm suffering like minor breakouts right now from an allergic reaction. So my face is going kind of through it. Just, you know. Don't mind it. Today I'm gonna to be starting with this Laura Mercier Flawless Luminaire Radiance Perfecting Foundation. And I'm the color Hazelnut. I've got a little bit darker because I've been doing a lot of hiking, so if you're around my color, this one seems to be literally a perfect match. So I just did about four pumps. Gonna blend this out. Definitely is a full coverage with no effort. But the good news is my skin is almost back to normal, so we could have a yay moment because my skin was going through it. It was not fun. It somewhat matches my face, but it's more of an orange undertone. I'm more yellow, but whatever. We're gonna make it work. It's always like that for me. But the next one was the amber, which looks super yellow, but it's just too light for me, so. Do. I don't know why I just put those two dots in my face. But the only new thing that I did not get is contour, so I am still gonna contour with my Born This Way in the color Coco, because if it's just not broke, I just don't fix it. And this is like perfect for me. So for these dots under my eye, let's see what this amber looks like as concealer. It might work, actually. And then I'm just gonna take some for the middle and a little down the bridge of my nose. So concealer-wise, it is still really nice, but I wanna go for a more highlighted look. I might even try this one for my next time because I might be able to bring some of the color back with contour because this is like my perfect undertone. Which one is this? This one's amber. So I'm going to try that one for next time. But see, this is what happens when you try makeup for the first time. This is what happens. So I'm going to try one of the concealers that I have from Laura Mercier and see if I like that any better. This is the Flawless Fusion in the color 4N. And this seems to be a little bit thicker, so this might give me the coverage that I'm looking for. Because even though the foundation is full coverage, it's still like a sheer type look. I don't want that right now. I want full coverage under these eyes, because I'll be having bags. This concealer just made its way into my makeup bag. Now to set, I'm using my handy trusty Banai powder. This is the only thing I refuse to change. I don't care. I don't care. Not when I'm going out. I'll try it if I'm sitting at home by myself. But if I got somewhere to be, like I do now, uh-uh. We ain't trying no different setting powder. Nope. Down the bridge of my nose, middle of my forehead, press everything in. For brows, I'm just gonna do my normal super quick brow routine. If you are interested in that, I definitely have a video below. It's also in the description box below, so definitely check that out. I'll be right back after my brows. All right, so I'm just gonna apply some mascara to my top lashes so that I could put some falsies on. And just a little on the outer corner. Today, I will be putting these bad boys on right here. These are some wispies. I put my lashes on, put some earrings in. I'm starting to look a little bit more human. So, for lips, you guys, I think I'm going to do, hmm, Elaine, my favorite ever lipstick because it's rainy. And I was going to do cinnamon, but I changed my mind. So I'm just gonna outline with some brown liner. It's so pigmented, you need like one swipe. And this is from Any Ali Cosmetics. I'm feeling froggy, so I'm just gonna tag on some clear lip gloss. And then I got a new highlighter that I'm so hype about. So of course, in a new makeup video, we have to try it together. Where are you? Where art thou? Look at this sexiness right here. You see this sexiness? So we, we gonna do this. We, 
We just gonna have to. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. I should zoom it. Oh, it's so pretty and subtle. Oh, just like I like it. Oh. Uh, sheer enough that it doesn't drive me crazy because I'm not as big on highlight as I used to be I used to love highlight but now I just want like something just to subtly pop in the Sun even though there's no Sun right now because it's pouring rain but you know we can act like there's Sun you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay and the last step of course is spraying my face we are gonna be using Mario's cucumber and green tea spray my camera is crooked so that's why I look crooked <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. this is my finished face, y'all. And um, I'm feeling it. Are you feeling it? Leave a comment below if you are feeling it. Say hype, I love foundation, and this foundation is giving me life right now. So, yes, another flawless face foundation for natural looking skin. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like usual, don't forget to hit that subscribe button or wherever it is, because you know YouTube be changing it. And like usual, follow me on Instagram at I am Linda Elaine, Snapchat Jamexican Beauty. Yeah, I hope you have a marvelous day or night, whatever time it is, and I'll see you later. Deuces.